Magandang umaga, magandang hapon at magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, si Jopar Makinay. And today, we'll be shimming helical gears. Okay. Helical gears are gears that have their teeth at an angle. It is said that they are quieter than their regular cousins but are harder to shim because you need to properly maintain the teeth and their proper meshing okay without further ado let's get into it okay for the bevel gear i already shimmed this earlier in the other video and let's get It fell. Okay. This one has already been shimmed. tighter something went wrong this one has already been seen right. there is There is no vertical play. Pressing on the gears. Still spins. Of course. Okay. Good. There is no vertical play. Now the important part, motor. Check if it sounds okay. This way. Why I'm going through this length? Yes. Because helical gears, helical gears need to be absolutely perfect, or else you will strip the gears. And internet torque ups are not cheap. <laughs> okay. Now let's try this one. Oh, and make sure you can probably probably hear it. Um, Spore gear is hitting my shim. No, not shim. My bushing. So it really needs something at the bottom. And it's too thick, but just for experimentation purposes. Okay, does it hit? Let's see if it's meshing properly. Uh huh. Need also to check if. This part hit the face of the sector gear. Oh, I mean the spore gear, the sector gear. I'm confused. <laughs> okay, 
looks good. Put that shim on the top. Let's try those again. No play. Okay, there is no play. Hmm. This looks weird. Remove this first. And there is only these shims on the top. Press. And I thought so. What I thought. Up. There. Okay, press again. Better. Okay. Tie. Press. Press. Good. Check. Good. Space. Push up, push down. There is play a little bit. So let's add the thinner shim. Certain ones. Just love them. Try. Good. Good thing. Motor height. I don't have motor height. Play. Mm. Also good. Let's add another mod. Measure, good measure. Okay, check. Ah, it became tight. So we need to remove that one. Always remember, depending on your bushings, depender, depending on how thick it is, it may or may not need much shims. And in my case, this bushing barely needs one. Check for the bottom. Let's close it again. Okay, it's tight. Check. Good. And play. Hmm, no play. Next motor. Okay. Plus gears. Good. Okay. One way to know if the gear is hitting, this should not hit this part. Okay. So you need to add shims so that it doesn't scrape this one. And an easy way to find out is it's like this. and spin as you can see it's basically scraping everything so we got something and 
Try it on. Hold that tab again. Mm, still scraping. See, this one is harder to, to make spin, to make it spin because it, there are infinity for cups. Okay, let's try play close. Oof. There is play. Press then spin. Let's see the grease patterns. It did remove some, but not all, so that's good. Let's add the shapes on the top. And as a side note, never ever forget to lose shims on the gearbox it will not end well close hold okay there's still play let me try to screw one okay for play There is play. Other gears. Let's see, it's not. There's space here. So it's not hitting the cutoff lever, that's good. Okay, that's not. No need to add that the uh, bottom. Set the top. Two screws this time. Check for please. Wow, no more play. Other gears. Nothing. Oops. Hmm. Perfect. Now, the motor.
Ito yung good grace patterns Inside Good There's the grease Okay, I'll keep with this one And let's put the other parts Now, time to try. And the anti reverse slash is not working. See? <laughs> Anyways, that's the shaming guide. Hope you learned much from it. Till the next video. Bye bye.